so now uh, the force of interest the force of interest uh, is the nominal interest rate r compounded continuously and uh, it is equivalent to given effective rate of interest uh, for example if the conversion period is one uh, that is per annum then uh, effective rate of interest is equal to uh, nominal interest rate that is r percent uh, where r is uh, effective rate and r is a nominal interest rate the effective rate of interest uh, uh, the effective rate of interest uh, totally depends on uh, nominal interest rate and is independent of the principal this is why we don't have the uh, p in this formula I means the uh, formula of uh, effective uh, interest rate uh, if the conversion period m is uh, for example set uh, to annual uh, conversion period and no other conversion period is allowed then the effective rate of interest will cease to exist this means uh, the effective rate of uh, interest uh, uh, exists just because uh, uh, there there is uh, more than uh, one conversion period uh, uh, in a year if uh, for example uh, there is uh, only one conversion period that is uh, the uh, annual uh, per annum uh, conversion period then uh, the effective rate of interest and uh, uh, nominal interest rate uh, would be equal and uh, uh, in other words uh, the in other words the uh, effective rate of interest will uh, will uh, not exist uh, because uh, uh, because of uh, many uh, conversion period in a year uh, the concept of uh, uh, effective rate of interest uh, uh, has emerged so now uh, let's have an example to understand the force of uh, interest uh, in this example, uh, find uh, find the uh, it is written find the force of interest corresponding to nine percent effective rate of interest. So, in order to find out the uh, force of interest, uh, interest uh, this is uh, the formula. Uh, this is the formula, and R R uh, is the uh, uh, nominal interest rate uh, that is uh, being compounded continuously so uh, we have to find out the force of interest uh, corresponding to 9% effective rate of interest so firstly we will uh, change the uh, percentage uh, into decimal and we will and we would write uh, 0 0.09 uh, uh, on the left hand side where effective rate of interest uh, the symbol of uh, effective rate of interest is written now uh, what we do that we uh, take this minus 1 to uh, left hand side and it becomes uh, 1.09 now we have to take the log of uh, uh, 1.09 and log of uh, e raised to the power r we know that uh, when we take uh, log uh, there then uh, the power uh, comes uh, before log and we take log only we take the log of base only so let's uh, do it by using uh, cal calculator so here uh, firstly we have to take the log of uh, 1.09 so the log of 1. Point, uh, 09 is uh, 1.09 the log of 1.09 is uh, 0 0.0374 so I have written 0 0.0374 and now the log of E so in order to take the uh, log of E uh, what we do that 
भी मेरा आइट टू पॉइंट सेवन वन एट एंड देन लॉग इट इज पॉइंट फोर थ्री एंड फोर थ्री सो आई हैव रिटर्न पॉइंट फोर थ्री फोर थ्री सो नाउ वी डिवाइड इट बाई वी डिवाइड the uh, log of 1.09 by uh, the log of e so this is uh, the division this is the division and now uh, 0.4343 43. so what we get uh, it is uh, uh, 0.0 Eight six one. So uh, I have to change uh, this into percentage because I had changed this percentage into decimal here in the uh, starting. Now I have to again change it to percentage and I have to divide, uh, multiply it by one uh, hundred. So by one hundred, I get uh, eight point six one percent. so this is the force of interest uh, or the nominal interest rate uh, compounded continuously so this is the force of interest 8.61 and 8.61 is the value uh, of uh, this r this r this is the value uh, 8.61% 